big game of the weekend. Hamburg up against Bayern Munich. First place against third place. Both teams knowing what was at stake. 57,000 inside the HSH Nordbank Arena. Very much in focus, Frank Ribéry and Aaron Robin. Mario Gomez not getting a starting place. That was reserved for Ivica Oric up against his old club, Hamburg. We join the game in the seventh minute, the throw-in from Boateng to Elia. And then he gets the ball to Tchaikovsky. And Tchaikovsky trying his luck. Hamburg setting out their stall. Early on in the game. Always rising now from Piotr Tchaikovsky. Bruno Labbadia, who played at Bayern Munich between 1991 and 94, scored a few goals as well. 11 minutes gone. Bayern Munich on the attack. Ribery and Robin combining. And that's an early warning for Hamburg this time. Oli van Gaal, Bayern Munich's coach, quickly off the bench. Thought they were going to celebrate. As Robert tantalisingly lets the ball go right across the face of the goal. The two best attacks in the league. 16 goals for Hamburg, 13 for Bayern Munich. The free kick from Tchaikovsky, headed out by Hamburg old boy Van Boyten. And Boateng putting the ball in for Mladen Petric to head just over. Hamburg hadn't lost any of the last five meetings with Bayern Munich. Although Bayern Munich have beaten them 51 times in the Bundesliga. What a standing record. The only team that Hamburg had a negative record against. Chance again for Bayern Munich. This time Illich. one doing the running and taking the shot. Morris Matthijsen. Furious at his fellow defenders. Good stop though from Frank Rost. Just past the half hour mark. Matthijsen with the long ball to Petric. He looks up and sees the ever dangerous Elia. Then Boateng. And an absolutely well cast save from Jörg Butz. Denying Jerome Boateng a well taken goal. Palming it over at the last minute. And resulting corner from Tchaikovsky, then Zay Roberto, another Bayern old boy. there with the missed chance and then a good start from Jörg Buck once more. Indicating where he wanted the ball, Harold Breitner, Lily Hernis, some of the great and good of the management side of Bayern Munich, expecting more in the second half. Three minutes after the restart, though, it was Hamburg heading over with Matthijs. The Dutch making a big impression on these two teams. It wasn't a Dutchman that made the black eye, though. That was Mario Gomez in training. Free kick on 50 from Laden Petric, a bit of a shaky save from Black Eye Butt. But he did save it. And the punch was strong too. Seven minutes later, Bayern Munich on the offensive. Liberi slipping the ball to Schwansteiger. Orange with the chance to sink his old club. But Frank Rost denying. Hamburg, old boy. And so it continued up and down until the 72nd minute. Garolin with the long ball to Aogo. And then Zé Roberto, one of Bayern Munich's most loved players while he was there, providing Ladin Petric with the opening goal of the game. Petric's third of the season. His team had been on a good run, they've won their last five games, if you include Champions League and German FA Cup. 
going a goal down to the title aspirations. Easy as you like, nothing Philip Lahm could do about it. Petra Jean at the back post. Robin on 84 trying to get the equaliser. Bayern Munich throwing everything forward. And Gomez chesting it to Klauser and Klauser putting it away. But the referee's assistant saw the offside as it touched. Gomez's chest, Kroza was offside, so the goal did not count. Kind of furious, Bruno Labadia just checking the clock. Two minutes to play, Robin and Ribéry combining again. Philip Lahm with a chance for the equaliser. The ball taking a wicked bubble just before he was about to pull the trigger. Just popped up too high, and couldn't keep it down. And in the end, jubilation, Hamburg getting all three points, pushing them back up the table to the top. And Bayern Munich left desolate, six points off the leaders.